this is my uh, final pitch for the movie I'm doing, The Voices. It's a horror film, and it's going to be well shown by Universal and as an independent company, it'll be in Haynes Studios. Uh, the film will be set in the woods, and it has a cast of four people, one of which will be filming. Here's a uh, picture of the location. It's going to be by a, a stream, but when I went to take the photo, it was quite muddy, and there is a risk of slipping over. Uh, here's the synopsis. Uh, the opening scene will start with a group of friends. Uh, they found a letter in a like a beer bottle in a stream. They think it's they read the letter, think it's a joke, until one friend panics and leaves. The two remaining friends then walk after him without realising the supernatural events to come. The two friends then see the friend who left dead on the ground. One of the two friends realised they kill him. They killed him with the knife, which is clearly in his hand, with blood splattered up his arm. And this is the bit that's the rest of the movie. The friends panic and go insane. The movie then shows the events after in which the vo involved the voices driving the two friends to carry out the task which involved murdering and hiding bodies. They then become wanted by the police. Uh, here are some shots. They're not that clear. but uh, The movie begins by the close-up of the stream. Eerie music will be played quietly as the film shows... The as the film shows the company, director and actor credits. No title will be shown. Another two key scenes are a close-up of the friend picking up the bottle from the water and still no, mu and no music will be playing at that point. The person who picked up the bottle then looks to see what's inside but still no music is playing. Another friend then crowds round and some dialogue is spoken and obviously still no music is played. The friend who picks up the letter and then reads it. Some more dialogue exchange and different types of shots are used such as close up and panning to show the friend's reactions. The music returns and then gets louder as the conversation goes on. The friend exchanges some dialogue showing them being scared and leaves. Uh, they then walk after the friend and at this point, a long shot is shown. When the friends get to their new, new location, they see the other friend on the ground dead. The camera then slowly tilts down from a first-person view. It then displays a fake knife and fake blood, which gives the story a twist. It then displays the title. Here's uh, the actors. Uh, it's George Hunt, Nicholas Sargent and myself, and on camera is Ewan Jacobs. Uh, this is the shot list. 18 shots are used. Uh, it can range from about 10 to 20 seconds to 1 to 3 seconds. And here's the risk assessment. So there is a risk of slipping over. It probably is quite high on days where it's quite muddy underfoot. Uh, there's also a risk of dropping the camera if the, the camera crew is not careful into the water, which is not good because that means uh, it breaks. Uh, here's the script. It's quite short. It's just talking about exchanging dialogue about the letter, so and saying it's about joking around and everything. And so it's it's quite it's quite a short script. And with the sound, I might use royalty-free sounds, but I might also create my own sound to the movie because I have a MIDI keyboard and I might use some software to create it myself. Especially, it will make it quite unique and give it a different twist. And here's the prop list. It's not much. It's just fake blood, a plastic knife, a glass bottle, and a letter. And that's it. Wonderful. Thank you, David. Okay. So, what's what uh, genre would you put yours in? Uh, horror. Straight horror. Yeah, just horror. And what sort of films did you uh, look at to give you inspiration for this film? I don't really, I just kind of created it myself. I watch like paranormal activity and things like that, but it, it's kind of a bit of a twist because it still uses quite possessive ideas, so such as like mind 
possession and getting people to kill people because it's quite supernatural because you can't just kill someone instantly without you even being in there. It kind of plays with the mind and stuff like that. Good stuff. Um, and I just, you saying about the, the no sound and the no sound in each shot, um, you can end up with an awful lot of uh, natural sounds, birds tweeting, yeah. uh, uh, tweets crunching underfoot yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, how do you intend to make them sound eerie, or are you uh, playing with this idea until you? It is. It's, it's meant to be quite silent, so maybe I don't know. I could try and reduce the noise, or I could just make because the whole point is they're meant to be a silence before they talk. So they read the letter, and there's a silence with natural elements going on because it's meant to kind of they're thinking almost about what they're going to say next because it's quite tense environment because I've just read this letter and they're not sure what they're going to do. Brilliant. I didn't, didn't look very closely at the, um, the shot list in terms of if you're going to try and show someone's thinking face. Have you got yeah. a nice yeah, close-up it's, it's, it's going to do close-ups of them as they're talking. Uh, when they're not talking, there'll be close-ups of them. They'll be panning over their faces and things like that. Wonderful. Good stuff. Questions? Lucas? Uh, as you plan to do a horror, he's planning more like a, a jump scare sort of thing. Uh, sort of creepy build up to the actual movie. It's meant to be a creepy build up. It's meant to be a bit tense atmosphere because they're, they're, some of them think it's a joke, some of them are actually panicking. I mean, what, I haven't decided what's going to be in the letter yet, but it's going to be something quite threatening. If they don't do this, then things will happen and stuff like that. Okay, lovely. More questions? Okay, thanks ever so much, David. That's wonderful. Cheers. Lovely.